I'm Isaiah. Today is Friday, February the 12th. And this is your WCMS Morning News. Today's lunch will be barbecue chicken, barbecue wings, cheeseburgers, and chili dogs. With baked beans and fries. Happy birthday to Keyshonda Mack. Don't forget that Student Council will be selling Chick-fil-A sandwiches during lunch on Thursday. We will also have pizza for sale during lunch today. Pizza will be $2 for one slice or $3 for two slices. It is almost time to start our Greenville Drive Reading All-Star Contest again. Our goal is to read five, read five books per student between now and April the 1st. Be sure to stop by the library to get started with your reading goal. Every student who reads five books will receive a free ticket to a Greenville Drive game and a free t-shirt. Football workouts have started at the high school for this season. Rising 8th graders can attend workouts on Tuesday and Thursday. And rising 9th graders can attend workouts on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you would like to go to the workouts, please take bus number 10 to the high school. Transportation home will be provided at the end of workouts. Please see Coach Nelson if you want you would like more information. Congratulations to all of our students who increased their RTI map uh, RTI score on their map test. These students will be rewarded with a school dance today. Your teacher will let you know if you are eligible to go to the dance on Friday. February is Black History Month. This is a time when I celebrate the achievements of African American and recognize their impact on American history. Each day of February, February, we will learn a new figure in African American history. Frederick Douglass is one of the most well-known African Americans in our history. He is famous for bravely fighting for the cause to abolish slavery in the United States. Douglas was born as a slave in Maryland around the year 1817. He was separated from his family at, at an early age and sent to live with the ship carpenter. Although it was illegal for slaves to learn how to read, he learned how to read and write. He continued education himself and soon found opportunities to educate other slaves as well. Soon after, he escaped from slavery and became a strong supporter from the abolitionist movement. He became a le leader in the Civil War and urge urged other African Americans to join the Union Army. His efforts led to the education and eventual freedom of countless slaves. Okay. Tune back in tomorrow for another biography. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Last we will have our week in review. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful Wildcat Day. Yeah.